Hi, this is example number one of chapter 13. Uh, we have a 25 kilogram block that is suggested to a force F, 100 newtons. The spring has a stiffness of K, 200 newtons over meters, right? This is the constant of the spring. And it's unstretched when block is located at point A, where it's right there. So right there, the spring is not doing any force because it's unstretched. And we have been asked to find the acceleration when the block has moved S equals uh, 0 0.4 meters. So what does that mean? So we want to find the acceleration when we our block is in position B, and from position A to position B, S is equals to 4 meters. We have the same force. Let's write it right here, force is applied right there. And we have our spring now. It's not a stretch anymore, right? It's elongated, and it's right here. The first thing that we do always to solve a problem is to put a coordinate system and, of course, understand the problem. And here we say that it's smooth. Smooth means that we don't have any frictions between the surface of our block and our surface where it's located, where it will be sliding. So we will not have friction force for this case. We will do some problems with frictions afterwards. We are being asked to find the acceleration. We want to apply the equations of motion. Equation of motion. The equation of motion is force as a vector is equals mass times acceleration. Remember, that's the second Newton's law. Then. To do that, we will do our free body diagram to find the external forces and our kinetic diagram to find the acceleration. So let's draw a free body diagram of our body in the position B where we want to find the acceleration. Free body diagram. The first thing that we, I always put is the weight because I don't want to forget the weight. Since it's a 25 kilograms block, my weight will be equals mass times gravity and that will be equals 25 times 9.81. Then I will put the normal. Remember that the normal not necessarily is in the center of my block. It will be at a distance that I do not know where it is located. And then I have the force that is being applied, 100 newtons. And then I have the force of the spring. I have the force of the spring right here. Let's call it force of spring. So this is my free body diagram. Where are the unknowns? Let's write, let's actually draw the unknowns in a different color. This is an unknown. And 100 newtons is known, the weight is known. And actually, the force of the spring is also known. Because if we are told that it covers 0 0.04 meters, and we know the unstretched length, then we know that our spring force will be k times the delta s, or the delta that the spring goes from unstretched length to stretched length. The spring doesn't do any force when it's unstretched. Actually, in the problem, this distance is also given, which is the unstretched length, which is 0 0.3 meters. So if this is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.4, we have a triangle right here. So this is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.4. We want to find that height. Actually, that's not very easy to find because that's 0 0.3 squared plus 0 0.4 squared, and that gives us 0 0.5 meters. So what will be the force of our spring? It won't be 0 0.5 times k, because 0 0.5 is the total length. But the spring only does the force that is the total length minus the unstretched length. So that will be my force of the spring will be k times 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3. So finally, my spring will be 200 times 0 0.3. So give me 40 newtons as force. So this force is actually known. We also have that angle, this angle right here. We can say that uh, 
for example, cosine of that angle is 0 0.4 over 0 0.5, which is 4 fifth, and the sine of that angle is 0 0.3 over 0 0.5, which is 3 fifth, right? So we have everything in our free body diagram known, then this will give us external forces. Now we have to do the kinetic diagram. Let's call it key D with our kinetic diagram, and then we draw our accelerations. Since this block is only moving in x direction, it doesn't have any possibilities to move in the y direction, right? So because it's attached by the spring, we only, the kinetic diagram in this case is very easy. We have only A, and our kinetic diagram also includes M because it's, it's actually the kinetic forces. The kinetic forces are M times A. And what we do is do our free body diagram, external forces in free body diagram equals to the inertial forces or kinetic forces. So uh, since we want to find the acceleration is only in X, and we know that the forces in Y are zero, we will add all our forces in X direction, and we will find that. In the free body diagram, we find that we have 100 minus 40 cosine of that angle, and we already said that is 4 fifth. And then the normal and the weight, they are in Y direction, so they don't affect the, the X direction, and this is equals to mass and AX. And mass is known because it's 25, so we have 100 minus A times uh, 4 is 32, right, because we have 32. equals to mass, which is 25 AX. That our acceleration is equals to 272 meters over second square. So as I said, well, this is the first problem, very straightforward. But it's important to review what we did. So we did our free body diagram, kinetic diagram. We make them equal. And we were able to find the acceleration knowing the external forces that were applied to our system.